the real identity of the blacklist's Red Reddington, played by James Spader, has been the show's greatest mystery since its premiere in 2013. Although a majority of fans were convinced he was Katerina Rostova, Lot Verbeek, and even coined the name Reedrina, one viewer has debunked the theory. After many seasons, Red's true identity was often called into question by viewers as well as other on screen characters. One of the main theories suggested Red was in fact Liz Keen's, Megan Boone, Mother Katerina. To justify Red's looks, fans believed Katerina went under reconstructive facial surgery and other operations. The tragic season 8 finale further endorsed the theory after a letter from Liz's mother containing the truth about Red's identity was given to her. He gave her instructions to read it after she killed him, however, Liz met her demise before she got the opportunity to know the truth. To further support the theory of Red being her mother, an emotional montage of Liz's life played while she was dying in his arms, and the scenes included their moments with Katerina and Red. Despite this, one observant viewer took to Reddit to discredit the theory with a scene from Red in season 9's third episode, when he stated, I'm not an abusive husband or father. The Reddit user wrote, I don't know about anyone else, but this felt like another line that was written specifically to hold meaning. There were many other ways Red could have conveyed what he intended. He could have said that he would never harm Agnes, or he only wanted what was best for her, or that he cared for her like he did Liz. But what he said was that he was not an abusive husband or father, implying that he had been at one time a husband and a father. This is just one more little clue to add to the growing pile showing that Red Arena may not be the final answer, the user concluded. Despite the glaring hint, other fans weren't convinced Red could truly be a man and responded with their disagreement. One wrote, trans men are men, so of course a trans man would use a masculine metaphor. Another added, the fact that Red is viewed as, presents himself as, and refers to himself as a man, and that trans men are men, then it seems perfectly in character that he would use masculine examples in a sentence. Whereas another disagreed with the theory as a whole and commented, personally, I don't find the dialogue all that deep. I didn't read anything into it other than Red disliking being treated on the level of an abusive spouse or parent because of the visits requiring supervision. Season 9 made its highly anticipated return in October with a two-year time jump which revealed Harold Cooper, Harry Lennox, had been caring for Liz's daughter Agnes. Although he had prior reservations, Harold eventually let Red have supervised visitation with Agnes which he has become tired of. Speaking to Entertainment Weekly in 2017, creator John Bekenkamp opened up about the Redrina theory, I can't deny that it all still adds up and is one of the theories that makes sense. It's out there, it's cool. I'd love to have you walk me through the whole thing, but this imposter theory is one that's alive among our fan base," he concluded.